Hello everyone, so for this next tutorial I'll be doing this realistic skull or realistic Jack's collecting look. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, then please keep on watching. Just like any other tutorial, I'll start by removing any excess makeup from my face and I also put my hair up in a ponytail. So this tutorial consists of three main steps outlining, colouring and shading and I'm using this image for the outlining and I'm tracing my cheekbones and my jawline for the uh, to give like a more realistic score for my face it's different for every person and I'm using just some water activated colours uh, however for the skull I'm not using white I'm using a creamy white, so not a blue white, but a more yellow toned white because I think that's more realistic and it gives um, not that cold look which I see a lot when people make schools. So, yeah. It then should look a bit like this, and I'm now going to block out my eyebrows off camera and applying some black body paint to my neck and cheeks. So the second step is colouring. So I'm using this black water activated body paint on my eye sockets and I'm also applying that yellow toned white to the rest of my face. So I use this blue toned white for the teeth and I'm just lining them now with some black body paint. To make some more depth I'm also adding some shadows around the teeth. And I also shaded them with a bit of grey eyeshadow. So the third step is shading, which is most often the most difficult part. So you want to create depth because as you can see the school now it looks very flat and not really realistic. So the shading is done with the aid of a blending brush and some eyeshadow. And since I'm using a yellow toned white as a base, I'm using a brown eyeshadow to create the shadows and to create the depth. And also don't forget to apply some brown eyeshadow where the black and white body paint meet. That way it looks even more realistic. And if you don't really know where to apply the eyeshadow, just look at a reference image. I'm looking at the image that I showed earlier to make sure that the shadows are correct.
and then as a finishing touch I applied some white body paint as a highlight in the sockets of my eyes. And this is the final look. Thank you all for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I also leave the other links to my social media in the description bar below. And again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Yeah.